rapid fire endocrinology edition osteoporosis with world famous endocrinologist dr ann peters the screening for osteoporosis set by the u.s preventive service task force to start at age 65. Bad idea or acceptable? I think it's a terrible idea. It's really important to pick this up as early as possible. I see all sorts of abnormalities that affect hormones. And if you affect hormones, either male or female hormones, you can increase the risk for osteoporosis. Men get I mean, osteoporosis too. I have no problem testing anybody with a DEXA scan. Don't ask me about guidelines in this. Just do it in patients and don't underdo it. Taking calcium in supplemental form to improve postmenopausal bone density. Helpful, not helpful, or dangerous? Dangerous, because Agreed. it increases the risk of cardiovascular events. Get it from food. Treatment for osteopenia. Pharmacologic, dietary, behavioral, some of the above, none of the above. Osteopenia, osteopenia in the absence of a fragility fracture is something that I treat with axial force. They need to put force on their frame because bones grow along the lines of force side effects with some of the osteoporosis medication. Theoretical risk or a real risk? Depends on the osteoporosis medicine, but the bisphosphonates, which are the ones that are used most commonly, they tend to be associated with lots of side effects. I'd rather people not need them, but obviously they're the first line treatment. Diagnosed with osteoporosis, should women see a gynecologist, an endocrinologist, a general practitioner, or a doctor who is a metabolic bone specialist? Well, it depends on how bad your bones are. Not all people with osteoporosis are going to fracture, but anybody who's having fractures, I like them getting some opinion of somebody who's expert on bone. What do you think of the urine NTX test as a marker for progress in managing a patient with osteoporosis? I've never found that all that helpful. I like to look and see and repeat the DEXA scan and look to see what's happening. I don't, I don't get involved in all those other tests. They just don't seem to me to make much sense clinically. What is the biggest myth and misconception you think people have about osteoporosis? I think it's complicated. I really look at it as a part of the human body that's actually treatable. And it's not the end of the world. It's associated with aging, broken hips, and all the stuff that happens. But I think that most of us can keep pretty healthy and not end up with some of these complications. And if we do, we can get treatment. I'm an optimist about this. I want to say to everybody, it's okay, we got this. But you do have to make sure you find a doctor who knows about bones what because they there needs to be be the most scientifically advanced treatments. Last question, what is your favorite hormone? Insulin. Insulin is my friend. What do you love about insulin? It makes your whole body function correctly. Okay, there you have it.